Nicole Hopkinson High School and welcome back to HHS Today. I'm Carmen Lee Thomas. And I'm Nick Perrick. This is the first episode of the second semester class, so we're just getting things set up. Today we're bringing you a segment on ASMR, After School with Olivia, a handstand competition, and a lot more. We produce HHS Today to bring you interesting and current events here at Hopkinson High. Are we about ready yet? On this show, we'll bring you a question of the day and what are the last three pictures on your camera roll. But first, let's get to it with Olivia Morrissey and a look after school at HHS. Sinead went around asking students about ASMR and their favorite sounds. What are you doing, Carmen? I'm demonstrating what ASMR is. I know you know what it is. I'm doing it for our viewers who might not. Great, but that's what the segment is for. Watch. Today we will be doing ASMR. ASMR stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, or the tingly sensation you feel on your back and neck when you hear relaxing noises. ASMR can help you calm down and fall asleep, so let's get started. Have you ever heard of ASMR? Yes. What is your favorite ASMR trigger? Hi, Parat. Have you ever seen ASMR? Yes. What's your favorite trigger? I like the locker. Okay. Very nice. Nate, have you ever heard of ASMR? Yeah. What's your favorite ASMR trigger? Whispering. Can you tell us a story? My friend punched my teeth and so I had to get braces back on. That's cool. What is your favorite ASMR trigger? Finger fluttering. Can you do it? <laughs> Hi Jillian, have you ever heard of ASMR? Yes. What is your favorite trigger? Whatever this is. Thank you. Those are some pretty relaxing sounds. Yes, I almost fell asleep, and that's not an insult. In our next segment, I asked fellow students and teachers to show us the last three pictures on their camera roll. That's cool. Let's get to it. Hey, what's the last three pictures on your camera roll, Maddie? Uh, my friend Kylie, uh, me as a potato, <laughs> and me and Stella. Awesome, thank you. Hey, Gabby, what's the last three pictures on your camera roll? Um, this TikTok I saved, another TikTok and Finn Wolfhard. Nice. <laughs> Sydney, what are the last three pictures on your camera roll? So this is a picture of some history notes. Um, and then this is a picture of me at a dance audition. And then that's like another one, but it's like the same thing. Cool, yeah. thanks. <laughs> last three pictures on my camera roll are uh, of a drawing that I made. Wow, that's really cool, thank you. Wow, I learned a few things about people I did not know before. Yeah, it certainly was fun to film. Next up, we have a special competition. Caroline Desimone competed in a handstand competition against some students. And if they win, they get an H-Camp prize. Since Caroline is a gymnast, she let her competitors lean their feet against the wall. Our first contestant is Sinead. Are you ready to do a handstand? Yes. Our next contestant is Katie. Are you ready to do a handstand? Yes. Our next competitor is Dylan. Are you ready to do a handstand competition? Yes. Our next contestant is Maya. Are you ready to do a handstand? Yes. Our next competitor is Dylan. Are you ready to do a handstand? Yes. Oh. Our next contestant is Andrew. Are you ready to do a handstand? Yeah. Are you ready? 
No one beat Caroline. Do you think you can beat her? Well, I certainly do not, but if you're up for the challenge, email us to let us know. We finally have the question of the day with Andrew. Today we're asking, what's your biggest pet peeve? What's your biggest pet peeve? When people have untied shoelaces. When people take days to respond to text messages. Littering. Gym class. Loud chewers. Short cats. People who get ice out of cups with their fingers instead of with forks. Fake people. People that are texting and driving. When people waste time. Chewing loudly. When people ask the same question multiple times. Andrew Hurley. School. What is your biggest pet peeve, Carmen? When people don't clean up after themselves, and you? When people ask the same question over and over again. I get that. Okay, and on that note, this is the end of the episode. Actually, two more items. First, did you get to go to the science fair this week? Here's a quick look. a great time and to see more visit our website for the full segment and lastly tomorrow is saturday and this saturday hhs student miles canty is helping the red cross organize a blood drive at the middle school from 9 a.m to 2 p.m anyone 17 and older can participate and 16 year olds can donate with parental consent they're accepting walk-in appointments up until at one o'clock p.m go show your hiller pride by giving blood hmm, that needs work all right, we hope you enjoyed our show, and don't forget to check us out on our website. You can also contact us at hhstv at hillers.org with questions or segment suggestions you'd like to see on HHS Today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.